Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna do a quick video on the MSI 4080 Super Supreme X. Uh, now these video cards came out January 31st, 2024. And then of course, I think everybody, including myself, was trying to get their hands on one uh, just because of the price. You know, thousand bucks is a good deal. Um, of course, a lot of the AIB boards are more than that. Like this model is $1,199. Um, I look at this one as probably one of the best 4080 Super or 4080 non-Supers you can purchase. I heard nothing but good things about this video card. Um, as far as air cooling goes, this should provide the best cooling you can get. And we just got this guy today. So I want to run through uh, just some, you know, gaming you know, checking on the temperatures and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch God of War. This guy is totally stock. One thing I did do was I flipped the bio switch to the gaming position. All right, so I'm running, we're gonna launch God of War right now. And we're gonna see how this thing runs. Um, I'm just gonna give you my first impressions here. This thing is very big. This is a large graphics card. Now, I run a test bench, so I'm not really constrained by space. I guess the only space constraints would be would, uh, I don't know, I guess my desk, if the video card was down to here. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be about another 20 or 30 years before we see some stuff like that. Um, but, um, so this is just to give you a look at it here. Right? I want you to just kind of take a look and see what this thing looks like. And I'll show you kind of how big this guy is. So you can see here, it is a little wider than my mouse. Like the, fringe, the fan shroud pokes out just a little more. And that'll give you just a size comparison there. It's pretty thick. Uh, GPU, um, but it's beautiful. It's thick in a good way. All right, so you've got your three fans. This is the tri Frozer 3 design. And you know, with RTX 40 series, the biggest things are going to be better ray tracing performance, right? You got DLSS 3, so frame, you know, frame generation, stuff like that, which is a big improvement over the RTX 3000 series. Now, I came from a 3090, and I was wondering, hey, how much performance am I really going to gain? And I'm going to tell you guys right now, my 3090, if anybody saw it, that was a hydrocopper. It was a kingpin hydrocopper. So, you know, it, it was a pretty spe you know, special GPU. So it was already performing at a level beyond a regular 3090. But then it was on chilled water. It was overclocked. It had, an, you know, an extreme overclocked BIOS on it. Uh, so it was already fast. So... Anyways, just kind of getting to it. Uh, this is going to be substantially faster than a regular 3090. Okay, if I'm looking at a 3090 Founders Edition, I'm going to say you're looking at 30, 35 percent if you're comparing both stock, stock, like right out of the box. Um, and then if you overclock this, you can easily get another seven or eight percent on top of that. All right. Now, when I say overclocking, there's a lot of things that factor into that fan, making the fans turn faster, increasing the power limit, increasing the memory clocks, and increasing the core clocks. All of those things together can usually account for about 7 or 8% more improvement on an air-cooled graphics card. Some may only give you five, right? So um, anyways, this card, you know, of course, you got your three fans. It's got some nice little RGB going on here um, and here up on the side as well. And just to bring it around the back here and let you see, you do have uh, a nice brushed aluminum back plate. Looks pretty good and some additional RGB. And this is your bio switch right here. You have silent and gaming. And uh, yeah, you know, th this thing is pretty much, you know, a, a top end of 4080 Super, you know, AID uh, car. Um, cooling should be top notch. So, Without any adjustments to the fans, we're gonna launch into God of War here, and we're gonna take a look 
and how this thing runs right out of the box, okay? Oh, my uh, little tripod just fell off here. That is the first time that's ever happened. All right, here we go. So we're in the game. I'm gonna bring you guys up to the top of my monitor so you can see the temperatures and I'm gonna bring up a, a little on-screen display here so you can see that, all right? So, as far as graphics go, this is at 4K. There's no overclocking whatsoever. There's no power limits increased. Everything is stopped, okay? I don't even have MSI Afterburner open. <laughs> so, uh, this game absolutely destroys God of War in 4K, okay? We're running DLSS on quality mode. And from the looks of it, this graphics card is running about 55 Celsius, 56 give it a couple minutes to just settle in this game is really fun you know you can just how you can throw the axe one of the coolest things is throwing that axe I think 150 frames in this game is enough and just to give you a quick run through this is a 14900 KF processor and we're running a DDR5 8200 at just XMP right uh, just to give you guys the you know a good comparison there's no there's no sorts of like RAM tuning that's been done at all this is just a stock XMP RAM profile and we'll take a look at you know what let's do so anyways going back to temperatures real quick before I move along here it looks like it hit 57 for just a moment there, and then it went back down to 56. There's 57. I wanted to do a 1080p resolution just to let you guys see how fast this is. It's running 2820 on the actual boost. 56 degrees, it's less than 300 watts right now, which is impressive. It really is impressive. And whoops, I didn't mean to go into photo mode. We're gonna change the display to, and we're gonna go 1080p. All right, we're running 1080p right now. We are getting about 290 frames per second, 280 frames per second. That is a good frame rate, right? Perfect. So if you are running 1080p, a video card like this is gonna be just crazy. Like that's gonna be pretty amazing. Uh, so our temperatures are lowering. It's running about 54, 53 Celsius, but you also notice that the fan speed is dropping as well. So while the temperatures are going down, the fan is automatically kind of compensating for that, saying we don't need that much. So. It's not an actual fair comparison here, I guess. If we locked in the same fan speed as before, it'd probably be even cooler. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna max out that fan speed, okay? Um, anyways, the GPU right now, how it sits, is completely silent. I mean, this sounds amazing. I don't hear anything. I, feel that. I just feel a lot of heat coming out very slowly across the whole side of the GPU. Um, then fans are just barely turning. And any kind of, uh, this card itself is absolutely silent, uh, but I will say that my power supply has a screaming problem. I'll put, try to put my phone to it. If you guys can hear that, but uh, it's an EVGA 1300 G plus, or P plus actually power supply, and it has screamed since day one. Um, but the actual video card itself is completely silent, okay? Uh, it screams like that with any video card. The higher the power, the more it screams. Uh, so, as far as coil wind goes, I'm gonna say there's a zero. And we're going to go back, you know what? Let's go back to 4K. There we go. 
Okay, so temperatures 4K. Looks like we're right back at that 57 Celsius range. 58. The fan's only turning 1100 RPM right now. So it looks like the fan's going to end up going back up a little bit. But this thing is, you can't hear it at all like this. It's just perfectly silent. So, um, okay. We're going to turn the fan up to 100% just for fun. Let's go ahead and turn this guy all the way up here. I feel that air blowing all the way up here. <laughs> Those fans are really turning. Sounds like they're still increasing in RPM. They are. We are at 3,500 RPM right now on the fan speed. And I just want to see how cool this GPU runs. Like if you run it, you know, full fan speed, like completely maxed out. Like how does it, how does that air cooler run, you know? So this is going to be a 100% fan speed on the 4080 Super Supreme X. So far we're down to 47 degrees, 48, and 300 watts. It's really good. Let's see if it gets any cooler. And this is 4K, God of War. Forty-six Celsius. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a air-cooled graphics card run this cool right here. You know, personally, I'm used to a water-cooled GPU, and if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people go and water-cool their graphics card, and they have temperatures similar to this. Now, since I run a chiller, not myself, of course, being, but I know people with like ambient water cooling and stuff like that. It's very common to see people's temperatures like that on water-cooled graphics cards. Uh, so seeing 46 degrees, 45 degrees on a video card that's air-cooled is pretty phenomenal right now. 45 Celsius. Wow. I wonder if it'll actually keep going. The air feels, the air coming out of it feels pretty cool. So I don't think it's hot anymore, or well, not, it wasn't hot, but you know, it doesn't have any like stagnant heat around it. 45 Celsius, I'd say that's pretty good. Hard to beat that. Man, this 48 Super is just very powerful. I'm telling you, getting 160 frames a second in 4K on God of War on high settings, is pretty amazing like it's kind of like whoa that's impressive that is really impressive 3500 you know those fans really turn they do they really turn 45 celsius 44 Very nice. So if you play like this, you know, some people do. Some people want to run 100% fan speeds. Some people just want that 100% peak performance. They don't care about anything else. This thing performs. It does an amazing job, right? 45 Celsius at 4K even, right? Like, I mean, if you're running 1080p or 1440p, you're probably going to run even cooler than this. So let's... um. Let's see what 1080p looks like. Actually, we'll start with 2560 by 1440. Okay, we've dropped the power consumption because of the resolution is lower. 43 Celsius. Look at that. 
those temperatures right there are amazing. Wow. Okay. Now let's try 1080p. Can you imagine? I bet there's guys who gain 1080p on a 4080 Super. I'm sure there are. Okay, this is 1080p. It's using about 230 to 250 watts. And it's running 42 Celsius right now. That is, oh my gosh. Look at that. 278 frames. And it's pushing the graphics card. Like it's, you know, of course we're 1080p, so with no RAM tuning or CPU overclock, we're not really pushing that 98% GPU usage, but still hitting 95, 96, so, you know. At 41 degrees Celsius, you know, that, that's a real, this is impressive. I've gotta say, that's really astounding right there. Um, I haven't used that air-cooled GPU since, you know, in years, years, it's been years, um, because I had a 3090 and I ran it on water cooling ever since and I got that thing in like 2021 so it has been it's been a while but these temperatures here are unbelievable right now I'm just kind of amazed that it's doing this well at 100% fan speed the cooler does its job all right, fellas, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been the 4080 Super Supreme X. No overclocking. This is one of the best coolers you can get on any video card, I think, probably today. Uh, from some of the research I did, it actually outperforms the Asus Strix overclock model cooler. So that thing has a big cooler as well. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.